Okay, so welcome back to my set series. Today, we'll be learning all about quadratic equations. So, ang quadratic equation, or we also call them a second degree equation, ay isang equation in the form ng ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, wherein a, b, and c are real numbers, pero a cannot be again equal to zero. Kasi kapag a is equal to zero, naging bx plus c na lang, which is technically just a linear equation. Okay? So, with quadratic equations, what we usually do is we solve their roots. No? So, how do we solve their roots? So, we have three methods. No? So, the first method is factoring. The second method is completing the square. Third method is using the quadratic formula. Okay? So, yung factoring, natutunan natin to nung nag-aaral tayo about algebraic expressions, no? So, for factoring, what we just do is to write the equation such that one side of the equation is equal to zero. Okay? Kailangan equal to zero. And then, yung other side can be factored. Okay? So, let's have a short example. No? So, let's say you have x times 2x plus 7 is equal to 15. Okay? So, what we do is we first simplify. No? So, we can distribute to x. So, you have 2x squared here plus 7x is equal to 15. And, kailangan natin ngayon na i-write the equation such that one side of the equation is 0. So, how do we do that? we transpose yung 15 to the left side. So, this will be 2x squared plus 7x minus 15 is equal to 0. So, okay na. So, now, kailangan pwede i-factor to. Okay? And actually, pwede nga to i-factor. This will be equal to 2x minus 3 times x plus 5 is equal to 0. And from our previous lectures, na alam nyo na either of these terms, so pwedeng ito or ito, ay maging 0 and yung full expression will still be 0. Tama? Kasi minumultiply mo eh. Any number multiplied by 0 will be equal to 0. So, kaya kahit alin dyan, pwede maging 0. Tama? So, meaning 2x minus 3 can be equal to 0 or x plus 5 is equal to 0. And from our previous video, Marunong na kayo mag-solve ng linear equation. Tama? So, this will be 2x, lipat mo sa kabila yung negative 3, equal 3, and x is equal to 3 over 2. Or yung isa naman, x plus 5 equal to 0, lipat mo lang yung 5 sa kabila, you get x is equal to negative 5. Okay? So, next method natin is, again, completing the square, no? So, yung completing the square, you first write the equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Okay? Second, alamin mo yung values ng a, b, and c. Okay? Next, medyo redundant, pero gawin mo yung equation to be ax squared plus bx is equal to negative c. Okay? So, linipat mo yung c sa right-hand side. Okay? Now, what you want to do is to multiply 4a to both sides of the equation. Okay? Then, 
what you want to do is to add b squared to both sides of the equation. Okay? So, let's have an example, no? So, let's say you have 6x squared minus x minus 12 is equal to 0. Okay? So, yung first step is to write the equation in the form ax squared minus bx plus c. And, okay na yun. Tama? Second is, we identify the values of a, b, and c. So, a here is equal to 6. b is equal to negative 1. c is equal to negative 12. Okay? Then, Gawin natin ax squared plus bx is equal to negative c. So this will be equal to 6x squared minus x is equal to 12. Okay? Now we multiply both sides of the equation by 4a. Okay? So take note na 4a is equal to 4 times 6 or equal to 24. Okay? So... Multiply mo 24 both sides. So, 6x squared minus x plus multiply mo by 24. That will be 144x squared minus 24. Then, yung right-hand side, magiging 12 times 24, magiging 288. And then now, you add b squared. No? So, what is b squared? Is equal yan sa negative 1 squared or equal to 1. Okay? So, magiging 144x squared minus 24x, okay, plus 1 is equal to 288 plus 1 is 289, okay? So, yung right-hand side natin ngayon, yung 289, ay isa ng perfect square, no? And yung left-hand side natin is also a perfect square, Okay? Actually, this is a perfect square trinomial. So, now we can factor, no? So, alam natin na perfect square trinomial yan. We just factor this into 12x minus 1 squared equal to 289. Now, we can simply get the square root of both sides. No? So, square root, square root. So, ang square root ng 12x minus 1 squared ay basically 12x minus 1. Square root of 289 is positive or negative 17. So now we have two roots. Tama? We have two roots. Either 12x minus 1 is equal to 17 or 12x minus 1 is equal to negative 17. And if 12x minus 1 is equal to 17, x will be equal to 18 over 12 or basically 3 halves. Then, if 12x minus 1 is equal to negative 17, then x will be equal to negative 16 over 12 or equal to negative 4 thirds. Okay, so yung answer natin here is 3 halves or negative 4 thirds. Okay? Our last method is by using the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula basically states that yung roots natin, so let's say x will be equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a wherein yung abc ay yung coefficients ng ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Okay? So, again, let's have some examples. Take note nyo yung formula. x is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. It's better na i-memorize nyo yan kasi it's very useful, no? So, let's have, let's say, 4x squared plus x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, a is equal to 4 b is equal to 1, c is equal to negative 3. So, using the formula, ano yung formula ulit? Negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, negative b will be negative 1 plus minus square root of 
1 squared minus 4 times 4 times negative 3 all over 2 times 4. Okay? So simplifying, we get negative 1 plus minus square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 4 times minus 3. That will be equal to 49. Okay? All over 8. And square root of 49 is 7. Tama? So that will be negative 1 plus or minus 7 all over 8. Okay? So pwede na tong mahati sa dalawa. Pwede maging negative 1 plus 7 all over 8. Or negative 1 minus 7 all over 8. And ito ay equal sa 6 over 8 or equal sa 3 fourths. Ito naman, negative 1 minus 7 all over 8 is equal to negative 1. So you have two roots, three fourths or negative one. Okay. So today we have learned the three methods on how to solve quadratic equations. The first is by factoring. Second is by completing the square. Third is using the quadratic formula. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. And I hope to see you again next time.